I want to spend a few minutes with you today talking about what you can do to get your team ready on game day for a good warm-up exercise. As you can see, I've already been warming up a bit myself. I'm spending the summer so far with nine-year-olds and 15-year-olds. That's quite a range gap. So I need to be in good physical shape myself. So I like to do cardio and some strength training with Beachbody's T25. It's a really good way to keep up your cardio, lose a little weight as well, stay in shape, and help me keep up with kids as young as nine. If you want details on that, coaches, I'd be happy to share that with you. In the meantime, we all know what happens when we get to a field. First thing the kids do, run to the bucket, grab one of these, and they get on the field and they start throwing. What we like to do, even before the players pick up a baseball, is we like to get them warmed up. We warm up the throw, we don't throw to warm up. And we like to use a lot of dynamic stretching as opposed to static. You all know the static, typical static stretches. So what we want to get the kids doing is movements that kind of mimic what they'll be doing on the field. So we start small, we get a little bigger, we get really big, we go backwards as well. You can put your palms up if you like. Cross the arms. A lot of kids may do this down here. You want to make sure that they're getting up here. And then finally we come up here and come forward like that. What you'll see a lot of younger players do is this, which really isn't helping get your shoulders loose. I tell my players, if you don't feel a burn in your shoulders, you know you're not doing this right. So good luck to you and your team this summer. Hope this helps with some of your pregame warm-up routines.